My name's Joe Youngblood. Um, I'm 40 years old, and I came to UP program about maybe two weeks ago. I was in a bad predicament because I had just got off of being incarcerated. And when I got incarcerated, I lost my apartment. All my money was gone. You know, from feeding myself as well as taking care of my kids. I thought I was making progress, but really wasn't. Every time I keep restarting, the door is closing. It's easy to do wrong, hard to do right. And the more I do right, it seems like everything go wrong. Without the right way of doing it, the legit way of doing it, where you make it happen and nobody can take it from you, it's different. I grew up on the wrong side, but I'm trying to be better now for my kids. I love all my kids. And that makes me more happier, and I tell them all the time, you guys are really my best friends. You guys are my partners. So I done got to the point in my life, and I said it before, it's been like a year and a half since I've been back. And I said to myself, I'm not gonna do this no more. I'm retired, I'm done, I'm good. It's not about me no more, I can do it. I've done it several times. It doesn't phase me. But that's a problem in itself, that I'm used to it. Being incarcerated, and I can do it no problem. But I gotta think about other people I'm hurting, which is my kids. And that's what brought me to UP. This, what I was going through with the Boston hotels, and uh, I see both friends' houses and all that, none of that phases me. But when it got to the point where like, okay, now the door's closing to where your kids can be out there with you. And I can't have that. I've tried different things. And they say, oh, we ain't got no availability. Oh, hey, yeah. But when I go to up, they push it. Whether it be a, a government phone, a bus pass, a uh, class to get you a GD or diploma. I came here and I was in a very bad position, myself and as well as my kids. And um, while I went for that process, I met Mr. Howard and he helped me get to my interviews. He helped me um, make the phone calls I need to make. I use the internet here. I, uh, things I don't really have access to. I got a job with the place I wanted to go to, but it took three months. And within them three months, I got provided food by up. I got vouchers. I got help getting my uh, birth certificates and my social security cards. Uh, sources is unlimited. Like, if you have nowhere to go, I was like forklifting, but uh, I have the, the computer for access. I did the computer for uh, Craigslist. I've come to see Mr. Howard, just you know, whether we talk about my progress or we just talking, just how you doing? And we are members of the grocery program. You get the same good stuff, same quality stuff, same label on it, same exact stuff, but for a better price, more affordable. I got a voucher for ten dollars. I came out with like two bags of food. Got a job once again because of the bus passes and and helping me get there to get the job. Um, I got a housing going, emergency housing. Nothing's dark in my day. I always feel like I can do it. Hey, look, some progress is better than no progress. Hey, I'm making steps towards stuff now versus sitting still. Trust me, I can tell when I'm just a a number, or when I'm just, I don't know if I'm gonna say charity case or whatever, but this is with people who actually really care and really help.